The Al-Aqsa Hospital has been targeted with at least three Israeli airstrikes in the past hour. Here is a residential building that has been targeted by the Israeli warplanes today. This is a building in front of the entrance of Al-Aqsa Hospital. As you see, this is one of the main gates for Al-Aqsa Hospital and a lot of people are seeking refuge here. Um, and here, as you see, the ambulances of the Ministry of Health have been severely damaged from the uh, airstrike. Here is the hospital. This, this, this uh, street is a very busy street where people are walking 24 and 7 back and forth to the hospital. And, and not only that, people park their, their cars here. I remember that every single day we used to park our, our, our car over here in this street. As you see, all of the, the markets in here are uh, damaged. Here, where people normally sell food and people who normally buy stuff, there's a very heartbreaking story where a falafel guy who sells falafel has been affected by a sharpnel and he was killed by it, unfortunately. On the wall, we also see his blood on the falafel ingredients. Dozens of injuries are now in Al-Aqsa Al Hospital where the hospital is working on a very low capacity and uh, the doctors are trying to help as much people as possible. We try to talk to the Palestinian Minister of Health and ask them about the injuries and the killings. They said that they couldn't even count them because the ambulances did not stop transferring the injuries and the killings from this airstrike. This is Hindul Khudri for Al Jazeera. Dar al Balah Al Aqsa Hospital, Gaza. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.